man. How are you? Good. Have you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And uh, we're here in the beautiful Moha. Beautiful day. And uh, this is really Jeep country, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. This is like the perfect spot to go Jeeping. So we're here celebrating 75 years of the Jeep brand. And Brian is uh, in charge of design for the exterior. Yes. Now, we're obviously the cars are designed to drive in it. So we're going to drive a little bit. And this is uh, one of the cars that they brought in here to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the car and uh, of the Jeep. And this is what, 80s, around 80s? Uh, I believe so. You know, I can't remember the exact year of this one, but yeah, it's around there somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, even though there's 75 years of history with these cars, obviously the Jeep DNA is in all of them, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was uh, the original intent, you know, when the we first did the Willys uh, MB way back, you know, in the 40s. It, 1941? 1941, yeah. I mean, just the capability that it needed to have um, it's been in every Jeep ever since. What are the, the characteristics that, for, I mean, there's, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't know what Jeep is, but like for people who like want to know, like as a designer, what are the, I, I don't know, a few key factors in every yeah. Jeep design? Well, you know, I think when most people think of Jeep, they think, oh, well, it's the, it's the Jeep Wrangler. It's this box yeah. that you go off-roading in. When, you know, that's not really the case because we always talk about the Jeep family. You've got Wrangler on one side and a Grand Cherokee on the other side. And there's everything else that's in between. Um, so really, Jeep, from a design standpoint, it can be a lot of things, almost whatever it wants to be. But we always try and stay true to a core couple principles. Number one is the, the Jeep 7-slot grill. Yeah. That's the sort of the icon that's the face of the brand. Um, it'll always be on every Jeep we do. A little bit different on each one, but it's always going to be there. Uh, secondly, the trapezoidal wheel flares. That was a cue from the original Willys MB, sort of the flat fender that it had. Mm -hmm. And uh, that inspired the trapezoidal shape. Now, over the years, there's been, you know, uh, differences on these. But lately, in the past 20 years, we've always had those cues in all Jeeps. Yeah. And also, obviously, in the recent generations, I mean, like, that technology is amazing now. I mean, they're always been very capable of doing that, but, like, the new ones are, like, incredibly amazing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you've got uh, lockers on Cherokees and Grand Cherokees and, you know, the, the hill descent control and all these other features that, you know, years ago weren't there, but now they're offered in, you know, pretty standard Jeeps. So it's, it's pretty incredible, um, you know, what even a stock Jeep can do these days now. Yeah. And uh, we're here in Mohawk. Tomorrow we're gonna do the off-roading, and that, that's where we really can can and see. I mean, the, the incredible capability yep. of like going pretty much anywhere. I mean, yep. sometimes you turn around, and it's just like rocks, and say like, "There's no way we can yeah. do it." And they yeah, say, "No, just go up there." there. <laughs> so, but anyway, here for the 75th anniversary uh, celebration, you also created a, a series of prototypes or concept cars, yep. I guess, uh, that are pretty wild. I mean, like really, really, like, just like. I, it's, it must be like the designer's dream, right? Like, there's no limits. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's I. You know, a lot of companies do concept cars. Um, the way we do them here for the the Easter Safari, um, we're sort of uh, we keep it away from the rest of the the corporation, the rest of the, yeah. the building, you know, and we sort of do it in, in secret, secret a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and so we get to do things that you know in a lot of other companies maybe you wouldn't be able to do because it would go through sort of the yeah. the corporate board and you know and the get bureaucracy and they go why are you yeah. doing what yeah <laughs> and uh no that's the great thing because you know we've got a lot of great designers a lot of great engineers and they have all these ideas and this gives them that freedom to to go out and create all these these wild concepts and, you know a lot of them it's not meant to say hey we're going to try this in production or we're going to do this on you know this certain yeah. vehicle but it, it certainly inspires us to do different things that otherwise you just you would never you know think of let alone actually but, but build some of the things might might get into a production car i mean like especially colors oh, i mean the, oh, yeah. the color of shame in these uh these uh, prototypes is pretty attractive i mean it's yeah. like dark greenish gray uh, but really really cool colors yeah absolutely um that's one thing especially colors and materials that we do for these concepts um, we get a lot of inspiration for them. They've actually inspired production colors that we've done, uh, production materials that we've done. Um, there's all kinds of things. Um, you know, even wheel designs, we might create a wheel for one, you know, concept that ends up influencing a production yeah. uh, vehicle down the road. But yeah, I mean, you know, they're really, even if they don't directly inspire something in production, they might indirectly inspire someone to do something, you know, on a, a production vehicle. So it's it's the creative outlet, really, that uh, you know we get so much of a benefit from. 
some of the things that are like I mean like accessories like um, cosmetic accessories for example I think it's a renegade that has like the map yeah. of one of the trails here I mean those things that could very easily oh yeah someone can put just put in their cars right? yeah absolutely yeah I've looked at doing that several times and yeah it's uh it's something we can easily do you know it's 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 a decal they're easy to do yeah Yeah, and that, uh, when we first started that one, you know, we didn't know what it wanted to be or where it wanted to be in the Jeep family. And uh, it took a lot of soul searching, you know, not only from a design standpoint, but just from a corporation standpoint. And uh, ultimately, because it's a world vehicle, um, we ended up putting it more towards the Wrangler side of the family. So okay. it's this sort of boxy, upright looking yeah. Jeep. Um, you know, everyone, for the most part, worldwide, they know what a Jeep is. And so the the Renegade wanted to follow that, uh, yeah, those yeah, cues and that DSR, so, yeah, we'll and uh, uh, you know, be a, a recognizable vehicle around the world. But well, potentially thank you very much for the anybody can do very whatever short time they want with the cars, right? Yeah, and you know, every year we try and bring a vehicle that shows of what a customer uh, could do. So you know, there's not a lot of custom you, and, uh, uh, work that's been to it. It's, it's mostly Mopar here. parts that are thank added you. to it and built up, and it's it's something that you could get a catalog or you know go to the website, get the parts, and you know. That is